Hello everyone, I'm here with a final review of the Picture Perfect Volume 2. All right, this, this particular series of albums comes two ways to you in the same tutorial. All right, so Picture Perfect Volume 2, you get it in the landscape version and in the portrait version. Oh, wrong way. In the landscape version over here and in the portrait version over here. All right, same page styles. And when I say same, there may be just slight variations of the page style just because when you change the orientation of a page, you may not be able, it may not be functional. So there may be a few little things that I changed. But when you get Picture Perfect, any of the Picture Perfect albums in the series, there is five. Uh, you get the tutorial for both of these albums, okay, both styles. All right, so I only decorated the portrait one in this case, so this is the one I'm going to show you. Uh, for this one, I use the paper collection by Pink Paisley, and it's uh, Moonstruck. And look at how pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. The papers are very feminine, and they just have a really romantic feel to them. What I love about this paper collection is that it, married the the brightness and colors with a little bit of shabby chic in it and that is the type of paper collection that is my most favorite I love the shabby chic style however I like the bright colors as well and when a paper when a paper company gets that right I'm all over it and I love it and you'll see that in throughout this paper collection it's got a little bit of uh, a vintage in it but still with those pops of really beautiful bright colors as you can see and they added some touches uh, a metallic in the gold here with the gold marbling which is really gorgeous all right so everything in here is pink paisley moonstruck for the exception of the pocket cards and these are a Heidi swap pocket card and I can't remember the name of it because I threw the packaging out uh, but you could just look for a Heidi swap pocket cards and I'm sure you'll find it. So you get a basic pocket here and this is repeated throughout all of the Picture Perfect albums. They all have the basic pocket because there's so much going on with the pages you don't need any more. All right and the way see the basic pocket here the way that I do my pages I start my pages this is how I do my albums. I start my page in the inside front cover. All right because when you open your book, you get this really large uh, space or gap of the binding system. And it's not, I don't, I, I, it's not ugly. I just rather not see it. So to, to alleviate that or to remedy that, I start my page from the inside front cover. All right, so and that's what you see here. So there's no need for lots of stuff going on here because we've got this beautiful ensemble over here. So uh, my thought process behind these pages are were wallets, okay? Because these are the albums that went into my handbags. So I wanted to design pages that sort of kind of resembled wallets and uh, but still have the functionality for the four by six photos, which you can see right here. And here you can put a crop down version of a five by seven and down, all right? You can fit lots of photos in here. Uh, I would say easily 60 plus photos in one of these albums. Um, I don't know exactly, but you can get a lot of pictures in here. And there's volume, so you can make, if you have 100, 200 photos, you can make several albums of these. If you love it, you make several of them, and you have your volume one, your volume two, your volume, th volume three. So you don't have to get everything in one book. All right, so beautiful stacked pocket guys or perfectly constructed stacked pocket with a nice see-through window here. I left this undone so you can see that uh, you can either do this where you see that it's see-through. Sorry for the glare, let me fix that, there you go. Where you see that it's see-through or you can add, you can glue this to the front, tape it to the front of the pocket and it'll be stationary there. And then when you put something in there, you still see whatever is in front here. Okay, so that's one of two ways that you can do that. And then here, room for a four by six. And I didn't put place photos here everywhere because I actually want to put pictures in here. And I don't want to have to take it out. So then room for 
in this in this still this wallet we're just still in the wallet you have room for four by sixes in both orientations all right which fit perfectly comfortable the pockets fit a mat for a four by six not just a four by six okay and that's also uh, very consistent with all of my albums I like to bring you functionality not just you know pockets and pages I want you to be able to put your pictures in here here is a nice size for a four by six as well as here I'm gonna give you three different uh, one way with photos and then you'll see the matting okay so this opens up like this and this is how you can do your photos you know what and I'm way too close to this camera you cannot see what's going on here hang on a minute all right here we go this is a little better so you can do an array of photos like this okay as you can see here and there's a pocket here for some interaction okay and look how pretty 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 the paper is just really beautiful there is a slant pocket here a really well sized slant pocket where you can see half of what's going on there all right and you still get the functionality where it holds your photo mat in okay two more photo mats and that is the this is the Heidi swap pocket card and over here here's your see-through pocket which is an option throughout all of the picture perfect albums they're just all designed differently okay and this is also very consistent with my projects the acetate on the pages I really love it and um, it just gives a nice airiness to the page and if you need to kind of break some uh, some pattern down the acetate pocket will do that for you I did some gold foiling around the edges of the pocket and that's it for that one here is a really nice area for a crop down version of a five by seven and photo mat photo mat okay, how pretty and these embellishments just re they're really easy to work with they're well they're well done the collection is beautiful if you haven't used it yet you may want to look at that how pretty so this is just so you all can see the matting here but you already saw how you can get your photos in there okay let me get my photo mats back in there because then I will forget I'll leave those out yeah and there's that it starts to repeat itself there's the slant pocket photo photo again the acetate pocket here I did just added a chipboard piece I just removed a few layers of the chipboard piece so it wouldn't be too thick and again pocket you can get your photo mats in there so you still get a sentiment and you can see the nice see-through uh, uh, view there of the photo mats so you don't lose what's in the pockets not that there's anything wrong with that it's just a different take on a pocket for you all here you just want to enjoy that paper I put some really nice paper here that you don't necessarily want to crop uh, cover up with a photo and that's another thing I like to do with my albums guys and you're gonna hear me repeat this throughout the whole uh, picture-perfect uh, final reviews because it's just a fact of what's going on with these albums you can get the best of both worlds in here in terms of enjoying the pretty paper and uh, photos so remember that you don't have to compromise you can get it all which is what we all love right we always want it all so check that out I was gonna do some gold foiling here I forgot and photo photo and your your uh, side pockets and again this is just in the wallet how cute you can even make one of these to just stick in there if you want it loose and you don't want it attached to your album and pocket so this two ways you can do this way or you can do it this way either way works well looks good four by six photos once again and there's the matting on that really pretty here I use the the pretty uh, part of the branding strip just looks pretty breaks up the pattern and look at that how gorgeous so pretty and photo mat photo mat or pocket card or journaling whatever you want and another see-through pocket and there's that last wallet here here I use the uh, 
the uh, American Crafts Typecast. You know their whole typewriter line? This is part of their typewriter line. This is the, the wax seals and it's so pretty you know this is one of those tools that you're not going to use every single time but it's nice to have if you can pick it up you have a place to store it i say go for it i included this tool in my splurge uh, kit membership and i love it it's so pretty i used it for this album and look at what a beautiful addition that is in terms of embellishments. It's nice and flat, so it works really well. I will say there's a learning curve to this. You had to see my um, my video on this. It's pretty comical when I'm trying to use a tool for the first time, because I don't fake the funk with you guys. I don't edit my videos. I leave all of the boo-boos in there so you can see that this is what happens, all right? Not that you're gonna break out your paper and it's gonna go smoothly from point one to uh, from point A to point Z. It's not going to happen. You're going to make mistakes and throughout the process of of me, myself, making these projects, I leave my mistakes in there because it's going to happen to you. All right. So while I was doing this wax seal here, it was just fun. So it maybe took like three times for me to get it right, but I finally got it right. And it was worth the effort because it just adds a really nice touch to the album. And while it again, this Zyron, I tell you, as much as I love it, you really got to get the, the little bits of glue off because your pages stick. So you got to make a pass through at the very end and just uh, hit it with the Zyron eraser to get all that stickiness out because your pages are going to stick. Nothing terrible, but there's nothing really nice about that sound that it makes when you have to get your pages undone. And photo mats, simple pocket. It ends with this really nice wallet. So look at how pretty the transition there between the end of the book and the inside back cover. Just beautifully done. I think about all those things for you guys. This is what I do for you. And, or I do for us, for our albums, because I enjoy these as well. I love my books and I, I just enjoy them. I put pictures in mine. I've showed you when I put pictures in my albums. However, I'm not that interesting, so I don't have lots and lots of pictures, but when I do have pictures, I absolutely share it with you guys. So this is Picture Perfect Volume one, volume 2, Volume 2, excuse me. And remember, with Picture Perfect, you get the portrait style and the album in the portrait style, and you get the same album, same page designs in the landscape version. And I have a landscape version decorated here, but this is one, this is Picture Perfect 4, so I don't want you guys to get confused with the page styles. All of the page styles are different in every single one of the albums. What is wonderful about the Picture Perfect series is that all of the pages are interchangeable across across the board. So for instance, let's say if you like page picture perfect the page style and picture perfect let's say one and four you want to combine those pages you can absolutely do that okay and 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 that's it that's all i got for you i'll be back with another final review for picture perfect three